But I am about to brave the extreme Oman 42 degrees heat and head to the airport for the last meet in the Middle East for the season. So Hamilton and Quatix are hosting a summer sizzler. I've not done this meet before. So we only have a small team going. Hopefully it'll be a fun meet and that we have a good end of the season finish to a few of the kids in our programme. For some, it'll be just a stepping stone towards some national competitions. And here it is. Oh, so hot now. I've arrived in Dubai. I can confirm it's as ridiculously hot as Muscat Oman at the moment. But um, I'm fortunate enough to be staying with my mate Max, who swims, trains out in Dubai. Um, his parents have put me up for the weekend, which is lovely of them. And the pad is absolutely epic. Check this out. How cool is this? So um, I've upgraded from the usual Radisson or Premier Inn I stay in. We've even got some shower towels, a pool towel, and a rope for after my shower to chill out in. So um, I'm staying at Max's for the, for the duration of this meet, and he's um, just been blending some beetroots up. He's the pioneer of this. So what's the idea, Max, with the beetroot juice? Uh, research shows nitric oxide can increase blood flow, improve lung, improve lung function, and this combination has stimulated athletes to supplement with beet juice for improved cardiorespiratory endurance and performance. And we think it worked yeah. yourself? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, I, I used it for the last meet and put loved out, it. Put out all the good stuff, you know, all the, all the bad stuff, all the fibre, you know, clears your stomach out, it's good. Look at the colour of this. Potentially will make me swim fast. We can hope. Mm. Max is just scooping the good stuff into his glass. Yeah. Wouldn't say it's a great tasting drink. No. Yeah, the natural good stuff. Well, mate. Cheers. Cheers. It's the lumps that do it, isn't it? <laughs> it's the uh, venue for tomorrow's racing. It looks pretty cool at night. Can't actually say I've ever seen it at night, but uh, that's the Hamdan Sports Complex here in Dubai. <laughs> Today, Richard is doing 100 breaststroke. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Joseph Page underscore, and Richard for the buyer for Rico Pods. I'm uh, not a fan of Mizunos. They're a little bit overrated. I'm all about the uh, Speedo LZRX. Oh, I'm saying no, you are not. Yes, I am. They, they, call, not. they call them the Ed Baxter. <laughs> because you wear them just halfway up your quad and then as low <laughs> as possible. And that is about hashtag fast swimming only. <laughs> So I currently have both the blocks with me. Alex has had two swims. Talk us with a 50 fly, Alex. How was your start, Alex? Awful. What did you, what did you decide to do? Decide to roll, roll off the blocks. But he had a good 400. It was his first 400 in a while where he doesn't get to race dad. He normally gets to race dad, so he's got someone to beat in the last 200. So this time he was a little lost without his father's company, weren't you, mate? Yep. We have our first finalists of the meet. We have Anahira in the final. We have Ayushi in the final. What, what final have you got, girls? 100 breast. 100 breast. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Anahira, show everyone your mascot. Who's this, Anahira? Strawberry. 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 And what, what hair colour have you got going on at the moment? 
rainbow. So our first final for us, we've got Anahira in eight, Ayushi in one. Talk through what's going on. Um, I rode a two piece and it's just really weird. Like, it's too tight here. I'll see you in the rain. I wore the common during my hundred back. Um, I think it's a really good concept, um, but I thought the mobility on my underwater was quite limited. But this is purely because I got a 28 in the top and 28 in the bottom. This is because I wear, in the carbon S squared, I wear a 28, so I thought this was the right size. Um, I think if I were to order this myself, I would get maybe a bigger size in the top, as it was quite tight, but then I would get a smaller in the bottoms, as they were, they were tight, but like, they could be better, you know. Um, but overall, I think it's a really good um, costume and suit, and I would recommend it to someone if you find normal suits hard like to find the different sizes in the top and bottom. When I put this on obviously it's so much easier to put the bottoms on and like obviously before races girls you tend to wear like sports bras and stuff so it's not as tight on their shoulders so putting this on was so much easier and practical but yeah for me obviously because this was bigger I found it easier but this was very tight on my shoulders. So. What's going on? Oh, I'm swimming the oh, 100 back finals. I can't. We are swimming the finals for the 12-year-old boys. Marcus, um, tried a curious day yesterday. Not a huge fan, was you, mate? Yeah, not a huge fan at all, to be honest. Um, didn't really um, feel much of a difference, to be honest, in the water, so... Um, yeah, not, not a huge fan of these whatsoever, to be honest. I've just come out of my guest room at the Tambling household and I found Marcus on the sofa. Is it a guilty, is it a guilty pleasure, Marcus, Love Island? It's not even guilty. It's just, it's just, it's just a pleasure, really. Like, I tell everyone, like, I follow all the meme pages, follow all the Love Island like, contestants at the moment, it's great. So he's, he's, a, he's a swimmer and a... Uh, Love Island, Love Island fanboy, there it is. Get Liam in the vlog. Liam, mate? Last meet in Dubai, what, what's your thoughts? Fast swimming, come on! <laughs> First day two finals, we have Isla and Anahira. Both doing the 100 free. What's the plan, Isla? Um, go out quick and back end next one. Oh, okay. Dubai tour from Maximilian Tamblin. There is the world's tallest building. Max is uh, deep in taper now. He's off to get a massage. Yeah. Stu is the, uh, the the wise eyes in the back, just uh, pretending to be okay with uh, Max's driving, aren't you? Fine with his driving. 
<laughs> you know it's good as, as you pull out the paw, his dad called him to tell him to slow down. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late for the massage. Uh, which way now? Uh, straight, straight, yeah, right, straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Post meet treat, we have gone to five guys. We are dabbling in a milkshake, peanut butter and stews, malt in mine. Oh, and I'm dying of sweat because it is at least 42 degrees out. Have the real treat. That looks like it has zero healthiness in it. There is grease soaked into that tomato solidly. We're taking a quick trip to the Dubai Mall, which is just a ridiculous, ridiculous uh, entity of size and shopping. I don't know if we're in the posh bit of the mall now. Max, we're in the posh bit of the mall? Oh, it's the souk part of the mall. The old part of the mall. The old part of the mall. Oh, quite literally a dinosaur. And this is the, uh, the food location of choice, apparently. Cheesecake factory. You would be correct in thinking we had just been five guys, but only I partook in food. While uh, Max had someone walk on his back. So Stuart has gone to the toilet. And what is on the TV at the Cheesecake Factory? Swimming. I'm going to go investigate. And there it is. Also ridiculously OP is a full-size aquarium at the back of Cheesecake Factory with some mega big fish in it. Let's see what we've got here. So we've really gone in. Stu, what have you got there, mate? I've got some vegetables here. <laughs> Sweet corn and potato. <laughs> 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 Max has got his, his, his season end meat. He's just had a, he's just been, you know, to the, for a massage and he's got a, oh, what's this, Max? It's a sandwich, it's like a beef sandwich. <laughs> it's a, a beef sandwich. With and I've just got an appetizer, which is the biggest appetizer I've ever had in my life. And because Max didn't get enough cheeseburgers, we got cheeseburger spring rolls. These look incredible, not gonna lie. <laughs> They're really nice. Oh,